folks. We're leaving in a few minutes for an intimate glimpse at the homes of Hollywood's biggest movie stars. It's the biggest 50 cent value in Hollywood. Don't miss this opportunity, mister. You can tell the folks back home you saw Betty Davis picking flowers in her own backyard. There's a million thrills in Beverly Hills. Take a glamorous trip through the Sunset Strip. Why, Come on, driver, it's 25 after 5. Just let me get two more suckers with, I, I mean, customers. Just two more. No waiting, no delay. We leave in exactly. You can still find hey, someone who Pete. will be your nifty. Will, will you please give me a break? It's tough enough without trying to outshout that guy. Okay, okay. Hiya, Pete. Hiya, Mr. Butler. You got a sporting news? Yes, sir. How's it, Pete? Haven't seen you in quite a while, Mr. Hellinger. Olivia de Havilland, Alan Hale, step right this way. You going to fights, Mark? Hello, Mr. Butler. Oh, hello, Joe. Hey, what's that for? Have you given up acting? Oh, no, but, well, a fellow's got to make a living between pictures, Mr. Butler. Oh, I see. Say, I understand that you're directing a picture over at Warner Brothers. That's right, Joe. You think there might be a little something in there that I can play? Well, here's the man to ask, Joe. This is my producer, Mark Hellinger. Joe Simpson. Hello, Joe. Mr. Hellinger, you really ought to use me, Mr. Hellinger. I've been reading your stories for years. Well, that makes two of us, anyhow. Tell you what you do, Joe. Give me, uh, give me a ring at the studio some morning. Would six o'clock be too early? I don't get in till nine. I'll hold the wire. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Joe. Hello, so Joe. That's a funny little guy, Dave. Clean him up and he's a ringer for Eddie Cantor. That's his trouble, Mark. I had him play a small part once in a great dramatic scene, and the audience died laughing. I had to shoot the whole thing over without him. That's why nobody wants to use him. <laughs> Pretty rough deal. Poor little guy can't get a break because he looks too much like a star. Yeah. That's a new way of becoming a failure. <laughs> Hiya, Pete. Hiya, Tommy. The Canter Show. What time is it? Oh, about 5.27. What's all the excitement about? Something big, Pete, big. And when Tommy Randolph says big, it's big. Just don't seem Say, to know this that. this is too much. Hey, what's the idea, Joe? Tommy, I thought you were a pal of mine. You know I can't stand that Popeye baboon. Why don't you relax? Oh, Aren't you imposing a little? Oh, 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 don't be impatient, folks. You will marvel at How about it, sailor? Show the little lady all the homes of the movie stars. I'm sorry, Mac, but I only got an hour and I gotta get back to my ship. What better way can you spend your last hour than a nice bus ride? Are you kidding? Listen, we've been here for two hours now. When are you going to... I hope you'll be listening again next Wednesday night. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Cantor saying good night, everybody.